Hey there! Today I'm gonna show you how to automate your deployment process using free tools. You want to decrease time to market, deliver your app to end users faster, you need to use a continuous integration tool. So today I will guide you step by step to deploy your Angular application to search using Circus AI. You can change these tools, but the concept is still the same. First step, I gonna create an Angular application, then push it to a GitHub repository. Next, Circus AI will be notified and start build process, starting from code checkout, running tests, building app, and finally, if everything succeeds, it will deploy the app to search. I'm sure this video will help you in your projects, so keep watching and let's start the tutorial. I suppose you have already installed Angular. In this tutorial, I will use the version 9. So let's create our tutorial app. I'll call it Angular Circle CI Search. Here you can do whatever you want. And wait for the end of the process. So let's check generated files. Okay, everything is good. Now let's start the application. So this is the, the interface of uh, a newly generated Angular app. Uh, this is the new interface uh, for Angular 9. Uh, so here we can see many uh, commands that we can run. Let's look at ng-test. So we're gonna try it. So Karma starts the, the Chrome browser successfully and let's wait for tests results. Okay, three tests successful. Good. Now go to your GitHub account and create a new repository. I will call it Angular Circle CI Search, like the, the application name, and done. Now we need to link our application with this new repository. So just copy this line okay okay let's push the repo to master ah there is an error uh, okay let's check yeah we need to, to commit first to commit everything so git add dot and git commit with a message so first commit good now we can push So go back to GitHub and check if everything is good. Okay, it seems nice. Uh, okay, so we finished uh, from the first step. Now let's see with CircleCI. 
So go to circleci.com and sign up for a free account. You can use GitHub or uh, even Bitbucket. So authorize CircleCI to access your repositories. Then select your project and here CircleCI give us a mini template to choose. Uh, to start we'll use the Node.js one. Let's start building. You have two options. Add in the config file directly from CircleCI or manually. I choose the last one. So uh, let's download the config file. Then we need to create a new root folder dot CircleCI and inside it we need to add the config yaml file. So let's create a config dot yaml and then uh, copy paste uh, the contents of the downloaded file. Here we can see the base system is node. Uh, we have two steps. Uh, we first check out the code from GitHub and then uh, we install all packages and dependencies. Then we run the tests. Then commit the changes and push it to GitHub. So here we can see uh, the, the job is running. It, it is in the packages installation step. Okay, then it runs the tests here we have a problem Karma is waiting for a Chrome browser uh, we can't have it now uh, so I will uh, edit the config file uh, to be compatible with the with the Angular application as we have seen Karma needs the Chrome browser so, we are going to execute the build process in a docker container containing browsers. Then, I set the working directory. Then, I will change the cache management logic so that we will get a cache by branch. And each time we modify the package JSON, the cache will uh, update. So, let's add uh, in the name of the key the checksum of package lock json uh, okay here uh, i save the cache with the same key and the cache will contain exactly the node modules nothing else then I will modify the test command and add arguments like no watch, no progress and use the Chrome headless CI browser. Uh, it's uh, a Chrome uh, version intended for uh, continuous integration environments. Now we change the Karma config to support the new browser. Commit the change and push it. Uh, then go to Circle CI to see the new running process. Ah, but unfortunately, uh, the build failed.
I think uh, it's a syntactic error. So let's fix the error. Commit and push. Okay. Uh, let's see the build console. And uh, now everything is good for uh, at least for the config. We wait for the test results. Good, we have three success, but the process is still running. So cancel the job and add a double dash to test command, commit and push again. Okay. So now we have for the first time a successful build. So let's go to the next step. Go to search website. Here we find everything about it. If you don't install it yet, please do it using uh, this command npm i double dash g search and create uh, your account uh, now we need to add search to dev dependencies uh, so it will be accessible through a circle ci container then go to the to config file uh, we need to add two steps first one to build project and the second to deploy it here we need the search path we need also to set the path of the build result and the domain where we want to publish the app. Now to log into your account, you need to use a search token. To generate it, use search token. There is it. Now copy it and go to Circle CI. Add a new environment variable. Search token. Other one for login. So it is the email you use to create your search account. Now go back to base code and commit your changes and push it. Here it will take some time uh, because it installs dependencies. Okay, and uh, now it runs the tests. Now build the project. And finally launch the deployment. So go to search, 
Ah, I think I have a problem. Page not found, so I will check why. I need to fix the project path. Okay. Uh, commit and push again. Okay, let's see the results. Good. Uh, let's check again the website. Ah, it works. So now uh, we have our Angular application, but we have a small problem here. Uh, okay, to fix it. I will add the double dash prod to build projects for production. So commit, push, and wait for the build process. Now everything is good and we can see our application loaded. So perfect. Thanks for watching and see you next time with a new video.